of Fruitville, where every resident had fruit-inspired names and a great love for all things fruity, there lived a boy named Benny Banana. Yes, you guessed it, Benny was crazy about bananas. His room was filled with banana posters, banana plush toys, and even a banana-shaped bed. But more than anything, Benny loved to eat bananas, and he ate them with great enthusiasm and delight. One sunny morning, Benny woke up with a big grin on his face. It was his birthday, and he had a brilliant idea for a celebration, a banana peel bonanza. He couldn't wait to invite his friends over for the fruitiest, slipperiest, and silliest party they'd ever seen. Benny dashed to the kitchen, where his mother had just made a big stack of banana pancakes for his special day. As she watched Benny gobble down his banana pancakes, she chuckled. You really are bananas about bananas, aren't you? With his tummy full of banana goodness, Benny began preparing for the party. He sent out banana-themed invitations to his friends, which he'd carefully drawn with banana-scented markers. They read, You're invited to Benny's Banana Peel Bonanza. Slip, slide, and giggle galore! As Benny's friends arrived, they were greeted with a sight that left them both amazed and bewildered. The entire backyard was covered in banana peels. Benny had spent the morning carefully peeling each banana and placing the slippery skins on the ground. The result was a wacky banana-themed obstacle course that stretched across the yard. The rules were simple. Each kid had to put on a banana peel costume and navigate the course without falling. They had to slide on the peels, balance on them, and even hop from one to the other. The first one to reach the end of the course without slipping and falling would be crowned the Banana Peel Bonanza Champion. As the games began, the backyard filled with laughter and the sounds of banana-themed challenges. There were slips, slides, and giggles galore, and it was impossible to keep a straight face. Benny's friends discovered that banana peels were not just for slipping. They could also be used as hilarious props for funny dance moves and slapstick comedy routines. But as the kids reached the final stretch, it became a fierce competition. Benny, of course, was in the lead, but his best friend, Sally Strawberry, was hot on his heels. She was determined to be the Banana Peel Bonanza champion and took a daring leap to overtake Benny. But oh dear! As she leaped, she landed on a banana peel, slipped, and went flying into the air, spinning like a top. With a comical whoosh sound, she landed in a giant bowl of banana pudding that Benny's mother had prepared for the party. As the kids rushed to help her, Sally burst into fits of laughter, realizing that the real prize was the fun they were having. With a splat and a smile, she declared, I may not be the champion, but I'm definitely the pudding queen. And so, the Banana Peel Bonanza continued, not as a competition, but as a day of silly, slippery, and unforgettable fun. Benny realized that the best part of his birthday was not being the champion, but sharing laughter and joy with his friends. As the sun set on Fruitville, everyone agreed that it had been a day filled with fruity adventures, great friendships, and the most entertaining use of banana peels they had ever seen. And from that day on, Benny continued to enjoy bananas, but he also learned that the joy of sharing laughter with friends was the sweetest fruit of all.